Hi, it is me back at it again here. I know I've been off for quite a while. I know I'm wearing this watch again. Um, yeah, as you notice, it's kind of spraying out here right now, somewhat. But I want to take your attention to this truck and what I've done to it so far. As you see, the bed's still fucking lost sight of this motherfucker. Um, still has that ground problem. Figured out where it comes from. And we did this right here. Uh, so basically this will not move around anymore. It is perfectly fine now. Except that bolt is loose, so I'll have to tighten it back up. But anyway, yeah, it's there. Or my friend of mine has too, but anyway. The rest of the truck's fine. Um, I've had no issues. Um, yeah, it is a ground problem. And I have to start from right back here and continue backwards on this frame here, on the subframe figure out where the uh, ground issue is for that part but anyway that's besides the point so as you saw i got my bike back so he has not been started all day of today and it's been raining all day today so i have to still do my door shit hold on a minute let me just get my keys real quick there we go So give me a minute. I will close this door. There we go. Alright, I'll get you guys a cold start right now. Oh damn it. Okay. I'll let the fill pump prime first. Okay. Nice little brake pedal. All right. And there you go. That is him on a cold start. But with any point of being said, um, so I got a lot of issues right now to address, and I'm gonna put that on a later video. Um, oh yeah, and just to show you, my windshield wiper does work. As you see. That side works perfectly fine too. Um, but I'm going to be updating, I'm going to be addressing the issue I have in another video. Uh, but for right now, I wanted to show you guys the new truck at least. Um, and let you know what I did to fix his uh, bed problem. Because um, the bed was left signing pretty powerfully, as you saw from the other video. Um, so far, with this repair, it seems to have fixed the problem. Um, with me hitting bumps and it doesn't feel like the bed's going to entirely fall off um, And obviously there's that squeak going on because uh, I did uh, WD-40 the pulleys yesterday because The pulleys looked like they needed to So that's another instance of that and As you hear it's not very happy. I got to replace one of the pulleys. Um, I think it's the idler pulley I believe so there's that but anyway just besides the point I got uh, the bed is somewhat fixed we are going to be detailing it more on addressing the issue um, with putting brackets and um, drilling it or impacting it together um, with two sides of the bed it's gonna be impacted in because I have no money to get this welded in and I'm pretty much just gonna just say screw it I buy a new bed for this truck this truck's bed's garbage it's done i gotta pull shit out of it but i'm gonna temporarily fix it till i get the money to replace this bed so and because of the addition this truck is gonna stay a shit box for probably the rest of its life and i'm probably not gonna sink any money to fix any issues that are in this truck other than the gauge cluster problem i'm not gonna fix the window shit um it's probably gonna get swapped for an automatic in here um the engine is staying the same um, and that's it, honestly, and I'm changing the frame out in the future, um, but otherwise this truck is staying the way this truck is. Um, it's not going to get any further repairs with the body or anything else. It might just get a replacement bed that's not even going to match color. I mean, for Christ's sake, if you look at the hood, it's not even matched colored anyways. I could just repaint the shit, and I might do that in the future, but I'm not planning, I'm planning on putting, um, Fender, fender flares on this, mud tires on this as well, as long as with my other two. 
Um, and I'm pretty much just gonna say that's pretty much the end of the road other than putting up the lights and putting a switch up here to flip the switch on and off for the lights on the roof uh, where the back rack sits. So it's sit above, it would sit above, uh, damn it, it would sit above there. So, but anyway, that's the video for you for now. I heard the I heard the news. TikTok might be getting banned again. Um, so, if any of you followers that follow me on this app, go subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll probably upload videos on there again, and I'll probably upload more content on YouTube as well since TikTok is having a whole issue again. Um, because I was going to be more dedicated towards both, but now I see I only got one choice. I'll still keep posting content on here, of course, uh, to you guys' is liking if I have anything new. Um, but otherwise, um, I'm planning on showing you guys the exhaust video of what this sounds like before and after uh, when I put the new muffler in here with the muffler clamps. I'm not welding it on for reasons. And my Suburban also has a $300 bill on fixing the exhaust and that because of a drunk guy that hit me a couple months ago so i gotta fix that and that's gonna cost me about three hundred dollars to fix that which i might be planning on doing um it's 150 to fix the tailpipes themselves but for the extra 200 and some dollars is because my exhaust gasket decided to uh go to haywire so i gotta replace the gasket and replace the whole entire thing on that and then it will cover that three hundred dollars will cover for the tubes being or the tips being replaced and the pipes being replaced. And then my suburban will be in perfect order again. Um, and then I'm planning on getting the sticker updated on it. And then I'm planning on getting a few other things like a brand new Xbox and a bunch of other things. Well, of course, I'm going to keep posting content for you guys because I have nothing else going on right now, and I'd rather just upload videos make videos upload them i'm kind of starting to get back in a groove again of uploading videos on youtube and a few other things so i will be still be posting on here and i will be posting content on youtube as well the reason why i'm saying if you guys want to follow me on there in case tiktok gets banned again and a few other things so i anyways i will update you guys on uh, whenever I get money to fix these issues with these vehicles and I will keep you guys afloat on what's going on and anyway uh, that is it for me I'm signing out peace